Okay, so let's talk about the user data type now. Uh, I mentioned it a bit in the previous video, but let's dig into it a bit deeper. So user is a special built-in data type. Uh, in most apps that we create, we'll need to hold some information about the user and we need them to log in. For example, log in with an email and a password and uh, there's just authentication, there's lots of things. So th this is a special custom data type uh, not custom. This is a special built-in data type that comes with Bubble, and it also has some built-in extra fields. So the email is a special field. We don't need to define. Let's look at our error. In the user, the email is not a, it's a built-in field here, okay? Uh, in, other things, in other kind of data types, we can delete the fields we create, we can add more, but the email in the user is a special built-in field. Uh, it, the email confirmed whether the user validated that the there's an email verification workflow, whether the email was confirmed or not, that's also a built-in field, okay? Now, the user type, there are some special concepts. Uh, when you delete a user, it's a special kind of thing that that user will be removed from the database, they won't be able to log in. Uh, the current user is the one that's currently logged in. So it's just, you have a reference to the current logged in user, very useful. Uh, passwords are in, uh, hidden and inaccessible. We don't, we can't see them. Uh, they can only be just, we can send a password reset uh, uh, e request via email, or we can change the password through a workflow action, uh, but we don't see the password, all right? Now, one really uh, amazing thing is that from the editor, we can run as a specific user Okay, so let's say in our uh, restaurant and ordering example, food application example, uh, we have the restaurant uh, user type who can log in as a restaurant owner and we have a, uh, the person ordering user type, okay? And we can kind of, so what this allows us that we can run our application from different user perspectives. So what's the use case? We want to, we've built a complex app, a food delivery app, now we want to see all the different perspectives on our app. We want to run as the orderer, see what he looks like, see what perspective he's seeing, what workflow he's seeing. We want to run as a restaurant owner, see what perspective they, they are seeing. We want to debug a specific user experience. We want to test some uh, privacy rules. We haven't gotten to it, but over time we'll kind of learn more about how to restrict who can see what. We don't want restaurants to see a user's orders with a different restaurant. Okay, uh, we don't want uh, restaurants to see user sensitive information, okay, such as their uh, email address or other users that have not kind of submitted orders. We only want the order itself, which has the name and the address, not the email perhaps. Okay, so we want to isolate the, so, but yeah, the run as is a very powerful feature. So let's do a quick live demo and see what we're talking about. So the user is a special, Kind of built-in type, we can't delete it. And now let's create a dummy entry in the user database. Uh, .com. I can create one. And now see here, I can run as this particular user. This will just, because I'm logged in as Bubble and I have authenticated, I have access, I've run as. This application at the moment is running as that logged in user. Why is the email? Yeah, I had to click refresh data and I saw it. Okay, so now remember we had special, uh, the current user was a special uh, built-in variable. If I click insert, I placed a text element. Now I'm clicking a insert dynamic data and here I see current user, okay? So I can just type current user email, okay? Now if I, run the application, I'll see that text, current user email, zavaradaskitech.com. Okay, uh, there were a few other kind of built-in types, like is the email confirmed? Is, is email confirmed? Current user email confirmed. Okay, uh, it'll say no, because I haven't sent uh, an actual email to zavaradaskitech.com. Nobody's clicked the, the email comes with a link, a unique verification link. If I click the link, then the email is confirmed. Very important, just validate the email is true or correct or not, general side, side note. 
we have other built-in data types, uh, built-in fields, sorry, built-in fields, which is like current user creation date. So I just created it now. So it's going to just say current user. Where is it? What's going on here? It's a bit different. I think that the size of the element is too small. Ah, yeah, it's just the size of the element. Uh, yeah, in the new responsive engine, this is improved, but we'll get to that in a bit. So June 10th, 5, 5 p.m. Okay, so uh, that should be enough for this video. Uh, as we go through the bo bootcamp, we'll learn more and more. All right, thank you very much and see you in the next video.